Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Prince Obiefule and this is Igbo Made Easy. So today we are going to be having an extended class on the letters of the Igbo alphabet. There are 36 letters of the Igbo alphabet made up of 8 vowels and 26 consonants among which you have 9 diphthongs. And one special thing we are going to be doing in this lesson is taking familiar sounds from the English language and matching them to the sounds in Igbo language represented by these letters. And also in this lesson, we'll be making a distinction between the name of the letters of the Igbo alphabet and the actual sound they make when they come together to make up words. I will explain as we go into the study. And on the bonus side, you get to learn lots of vocabulary as we use words to give examples of this sound. So sit back, relax as we go into the study. But before you relax, just subscribe to the channel if you've not. Please, 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 please subscribe to my channel if you've not. Subscribing to the channel will support us and encourage us to keep doing what we are doing. Thank you so much. And if you've subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate your support. Thank you. I can't say it enough. So now we dive right into the study as I take the Igbo alphabet from A to Z, it goes this way. A, B, G, D. E, F, G, B, I, G, H, I, 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 G, K, B, K, L, M, N, 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 O, O, P, Re, se, she, te, u, o, v, we, ye, and z. So now we go into the class proper for the breakdown of these letters of the Igbo alphabet. Okay, now we have the first slide and we have a, b, c, d on this slide. A is synonymous with the sound of a in apple the sound of a in apple and at and father from english the example we have here is aka so apple aka you see and aka means hand the next one we have is b is synonymous with the b sound in english as you have in ball basket bread and all what have you so you have beer for an example and beer is come now the distinction i i said i was going to make with the name of the alphabet versus the sound of it if you notice this um alphabet is called this letter of the alphabet is called b but the sound is b b b as you have in the english b ball b beer the E in the BIA does not come from the B in the sound of the name of this letter, but it comes from the I that comes after the B. So you have B, B, E, A, B, A, you see. So that is um, a good distinction you make. And as a rule, for all the consonants, for all the Igbo consonants, remove the E in the sound of the name. What you have left is the sound of the alphabet when of the letter of the alphabet when it comes together to make a word only the vowels sound exactly the way they do in the names of the letter as in the sound of the word now the next one we we'll have here is chi 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 if you remove the e at the end you have ch and is the same thing with the sound of ch in church the ch in the front and ch at the back and other ch chimney and all that that you have then the example we have here is chere chere means wait chere wait the next one we have is d d is the same english sound as d in dog you see and dry and dig and all what have you so it's just a simple the sound 
and you remove the a when you are making the sound when it comes together to make a word the name of the letter is d but the sound is d d as you have in dog so the example we have here is deka deka is as so or like deka xyz you know i may say the sound is um the sound deka the sound of d in english that is the sound is like the sound of d in english so that's the way you can use deka on this slide we have e fe ge we e is synonymous with two english sounds one is egg the e in egg the e in egg and the a in gate so it has the e and the a sound some people call it ego and some people call it ego you see so you can use either of the sound but the most popular one is the a sound though many times it is used as a also so these are the two sounds you have and ego means money now for fee fee is the same regular f sound you have in english as in fish fine find you know fire the same f -f -f sound of f is the sound of fi in Igbo. for though it is called fi if you remove the e what is left is the sound the e was put there to help us pronounce the consonants i can't say this enough so that is the trick for all the consonants you remove the a and what you have left is the actual sound that it will make when it comes together in a word because you can literally say o o o o and you have four you see four is to blow blow when you tell somebody to blow and four is like a command word four can be used to say when you, when you are in a party and you take some balloon you know you give it to somebody and you say four huh that is blow them it can also be used as in four whistle blow the whistle it can also be used as when you give someone a birthday cake and you say four yeah which is blow it you know it's like a command to say blow it or an instruction to say blow it you are telling someone to do something and that is blow so that is the word for the next one we have is gay for gay gay is a regular hard g sound in english as in good go you know the regular hard g sound in english is what you have is the same sound with the gay in Igbo. an example of this is guinea we've treated question words in Igbo. guinea is what so you see that hard good guinea that is it the next one is we we doesn't have any english sound that i could use to bring it home but this one has been used a lot it sounds like english is the word Igbo. so if you don't know anything in Igbo, you know how to say Igbo. you understand so that Igbo, that b, b, b in Igbo, is the sound of we for though it is called we you take out the a what is left is the sound which is b b so here you have bo for example bo bo is solve so i can tell you borum this mass or bo this mass that is solve this mass bo this problem solve this problem bo this quarrel this dispute solve this dispute and all what have you i thought it was a cute word to introduce for this then there is ubua 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 is now ubua ubua has the b sound too so ubua is now you can take that as an extra word to learn now here we have e gui he and e e is like the gh in neighbor e e neighbor and the example i have here is e e is fry now the e sound is not exactly very popular in english you don't have many of such sounds in english i just happen to come across this and neighbor sounds very very close not exactly but very close so remove the a in ye and you have e, e, you know another sound that this makes that you you may be familiar with is amayim the Igbo word amayim amayim means i don't know i don't know amayim then the next one is we 
Gui is just like the sound penguin. The gui in penguin. That gui sound in penguin. That is the sound of the gui in Igbo. And the sound that it makes, if you take out the I, is go, 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 go. So here we have guam, go, a, m, go. Then you have the letter a and the letter m, go, a, m, guam. Guam is tell me. If you master the pronouns, you can switch the m at the end with ya. You can switch the m at the end with ha. You can switch the m and the end with ge. You know, and guam is tell me. Guaya is tell him, tell her, tell it. Then guaha is tell them. So that is it. We move to the next one, which is he. The he sound is just like the very regular h sound in happy in English. As we have happy, you have um heart, you have um how. You know the regular h sound. Though it is called he, you know the drill. Take out the e. What is left is the sound you have in happy of h in English. So here you have hapwa, happy hapwa ha ha. You can even say it with the ha ha. You know happy hapwa. Now the e hapwa is um don't bother don't bother when someone says something say don't bother is hapwa the e in igbo the letter i the english letter i in igbo is called e and is synonymous with the sound each you know each in english and the example i have here is iri iri is 10 now this one is very easy for all the vowels the name of the vowel is exactly the way it will sound when it makes a sentence, you don't minus anything. The way it's called e, we have e, re, e, e, re. So that is it for this slide. Now on this slide we have a, j, k, p. Now e is synonymous with the sound ink in English. The e, the i sound that uh, makes the e ink in english or you have the e in economics you know that is the e sound is what you have in um for this sound in Igbo, and it's a vowel so it's exactly the way it will sound in any word like we have for example here eba or eba and that means forest the next one is j is the same regular j sound in english as you have jerry jets and all what have you the same regular j sound in english ignore the a after the g when you are calling it as a letter is g but when you are pronouncing it is g g as in jerry you know and you have here g c k for example g c k g c k is simply put all the best but it's a multi-purpose word and it has multiple applications to it and i might even do a whole video on g c k one of these days so it's a word that is worth learning is a very one of the most extracted popular Igbo words of all times the next one we have is k k is the same regular sound of k in english as you would have in kite kettle you know and all that kitten is the same regular k sound so here for example we have kedo Every of you know, every one of you here knows Kedu. is the first thing you learn in Igbo. Kedu, Kedu, how are you? You know, hello and all what have you. So Kedu is the sound, um, for example. The next one is Pe. Pe doesn't have any sound related in um, in English. But I'll say, think of like a gun. But without the ah, just the So here we have, for example, Pakpando. Pakpando, 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 Pakpando is the Igbo word for, guess what? Star. The way you have the stars in the sky. So star is Pakpando. When we come out and see the beautiful sky um, stars and want to admire them in the night, you know, we just admire the Pakpando. And Pakpando is star. And it's a very beautiful word. I like the way it sounds in the mouth today, you know, Pakpando. It has this thing to it. <laughs> okay, that's the sound of P. K P in Igbo, P, remove the A, what is left, if you can make out what is left, that is the sound 
of that word. All right, here we have we, le, me, ne. Que is very synonymous with the que sound in queen. Queen, the Q U sound in queen, as you have in English. Que, que, the que sound there, or question, you know, that is the sound of que. And this is why we don't have Q in Igbo. We have KW for those que, que related things, chloroquine. So the que there covers KW in Igbo. Now, the example we have here is kusi. Kusi is stop. Kusi is stop. So we want someone is doing something. You say kusi, kusi, stop. You know, kusi ya, stop it. You are in a cab and maybe you've seen where you want to go. You say kusi or kusim. Kusim is stop me. Kusim, stop me. So that is um, that is it for kui. The next one we have is le, le. Le is a regular L sound in English, as you have look, life, you know, let, you know, the regular L sound in English. And here we have le, le, le is C, and le is also look. <laughs> and funny enough, the example we have from the English is look. So, yes, le is look, and le is C, but more of C than um, look. Then the next one is me. Me. Me is the regular M sound in English. The regular me, mind, mode, make. The regular sound that M makes in English is the sound that M makes in um, Igbo. So here you have Miri. For example, Miri is water. Now, this is the other thing I didn't mention at the intro that you are going to learn. The Igbo alphabets... The consonants stand, stand as a complete sound by themselves if there is no vowel in between them. So the way you have two M's here, you don't pronounce it together. You don't slide it and say Miri. No, you pronounce it separately mm, as a sound. Then the other Miri as a sound. The other M will join with the next vowel, you know, and the Arrow sound, the re sound is a consonant we join with the next vowel. So you have three syllables here. Mm, then me, and then re. So without a vowel coming between two consonants, the preceding consonant serves as a syllable on its own. You pronounce it as a syllable on its own. So whenever you see consonants joined together, and when, I, I don't mean the diphthongs. The diphthongs, you know them, like the KW, the GB. Those ones are treated as one letter. But when um, um, alone standing letters like M, N, or L come together to form a word, you treat the consonant that is without, that is before the next consonant as a syllable. So here we will not have Miri, but we have M, then me, and then Re and that is miri. That is worthy um, of note. The next one we have here is ni. Ni is the regular n sound in English, as in neat, no, you know, net, and or what have you. It's a regular n sound in English. And an example we have here is ndo. Ndo is sorry. Now here we have nge, nwe, nye. O, the nge sound is a very rare one in English, but something that is close to it, not exactly very close to it, but somehow very um, close to it, the closest to it from English is sing, the ng sound in sing. So that ng is the closest sound to the word nge in Igbo, the letter nge in Igbo. And like other consonants, though this one is not ng, but ng, that e at the end of it does not, it's not pronounced when you are saying, when, when it comes in a word. For example, we don't have ng, o, ng, o, o. No, we have ng, o, o. You see, we have ng, o, o, ng. So ng is drink, not ng, o, 
you see so the e the vowel e is not pronounced the same way you subtract the e from all the consonants here you subtract the e sound and what you have left of nye 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 is the actual sound which sounds very closely to sing nye, 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 nye. you understand so um i hope this helps you now this is one of the letters that definitely we may need to do um a drill on but then you um can master it just from what the exercise i've done here so far and i hope it's really helpful more is drink drink is more more mirror you know drink more mine drink um wine or drink beer or drink a drink soft drink malt whatever so now the next one is we 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 remove the e and what you have is going to sound close to the wine the sound wine the the one sound in wine wine is um the closest you get to we sound in Igbo. for example we have here wine wine see wine 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 in fact because it's wine it's almost almost i'm um, trying to sound as though i'm saying wine the both time but if you listen carefully you hear wine and you have and you hear wine you see the next one is the ni sound the ni sound the ni sound doesn't have anything in english that comes close to it and yes it's not new york i know it's ny ny everywhere is not new york this is ni in Igbo, and it is pronounced as nyem. For example, we have nyem. So remove the a and try and see what you get. What you get, you add a and m mm to it. You see, and you have nyem. Here we have two syllables, the nye and the m, mm, because this is a consonant. The e that comes after it joins with it to make a syllable. Then the m stands as an independent um, syllable on its own. So you have nyem. You see, you have nyem. That is the sound of that word. And nyem is give me. And maybe I didn't mention, but wany is woman, girl, lady. Yes, that is wany as opposite to woke. So the next one we have is o, o, o. O is like the o, o, a in quotes. You understand? In English, quotes, oats, you know. So the OA in the word coat from English is the closest sound, I think exact sound with the O in Igbo. So now um, the example I have here is Olu. Olu is neck. Olu is neck. Yes, Olu is neck. I don't know if I mentioned something about Nyem. Nyem is give me. Ngo is drink. Wany is woman, lady, girl. Olu is neck. Your neck. Now on this slide we have o, p, re, c. O is synonymous to the English sound um, of o r in organ or organization. The o o o sound is how the o in Igbo sounds. And here we have, for example, ogu. Ogu is drug, medicine, you know, and it's also used for charm. Ogu. So. The next letter we have here is P. P is synonymous to the English sound of P. The regular English sound of P, pool, put, you know, peg. Yeah. So the example we have here is puku. Puku means 1,000. Puku means a 1,000. So it can be a 1,000 naira, it can be a 1,000 things. Puku, we handled this on the lessons on number. Then the next we have re. Re is the regular sound of R in English, like you have rock, rest, you know, roll, and whatever have you. The regular sound of R in English. Though it's called Re, remember you just remove the E, the same thing with the P, you remove the E, the sound is what you have left. So it's, as the example we have here is Re. Re is eat. Eat. So Re and Re eat food. Um, rie is just a word for it. Rie, and you put anything, and that is it. This 
thing. Then the next one we have is C. C is just like the regular sound of S in English as in C, six, and saw, you know, all that salt. The regular sound of S in English is the regular sound of um, C in Igbo. Remember, the E is removed. What is left will sound exactly like the English S in C. And the example we have here is Sia. Sia is um, ask him or ask her or ask it. Not ask as in ask a question, but when I say ask him to come, it's not the same thing as tell him to come. You know, ask him to come, ask him to go. You know, ask me to say it or ask me to leave if you don't want me here. So sim, see ya, see her. So if you know the vowels, you can switch it. That's it for this slide. Okay, now we've come to the second to the last slide of this presentation. And if you noticed, we omitted a letter of the Igbo alphabet, which is the she that comes after C. But we are going to take care of that in the next slide. It was added up. So um, here you have the, u, o, v. So T is a regular T sound in English as when you have T, table, and all what have you. Remember, remove the A and what you have is the sound. The name is T, but the sound is the regular T sound in um, English. So an example here, we have Ta. Ta is today, you know, Ta is today. But Ta can also be used as Hey! Like, you know, when you want to startle somebody or want to, you know, yell and so on, Hey! You know, what you doing? Ta! You know, so ta can be used when you put um, um, an exclamatory mark to it. It becomes, hey! You know, that kind of a thing. But ta is today. Then the next one we have is u. U is just like the double O sound in book or the double O sound in pool or the U sound in pool, P-U-L-L. -L, you see, so that's the, um, that English sound is what the U of Igbo sounds like and is a vowel so you don't remove anything the sound is what you get like u bu a u a and ubua so ubua is now ubua is now the meaning of ubua is now when do you want it ubua i want it now achoram ya ubua i want it now achoram ya ubua achoram is i want ya is it Ubua is now. So that's it. The next one we have here is O. O doesn't have any sound in English that comes close to or that we can use to explain it. So you just have to listen to me do it. O, 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 O. You can go back to the video, the first video I made on Igbo alphabet series and you can see the shape of my mouth when I'm pronouncing the O sound and that may help you pronounce it. But if you just would put it in your ear long enough as I'm saying the O, O, O. The ear has a way of reproducing what is um, what it hears, especially when it is um, um, put very closely to the ear. Then the, the word for it, the example word for it is Olo. Olo. And Olo is house. The next one is V. V is the regular V sound in English, like when you have and Vogue, or you have Volvo, or you have Velvet, you know, that is the regular five, the regular sound of V in English is the sound of V in Igbo. So, um, here we have, for example, Mvo, Mvo, Mvo is um, comb, and it can also mean um, nail, like a um, fingernail, if you call it Mvo. But mvo comb mvo fingernail. Remember we talked about tone, and we did a drill using aqua. You can go and check the video. Then we did the one for ek and ek. So that is it for it. Now we've come to the last slide of this lesson, and we have we, ye, z, and the omitted um letter which is she. Now we. The W, we, is just the same thing as you have the regular W in English. Wall, wake, wait, and water, you know, is the regular W sound you have in English. And 
the example word we have here is weather, weather or weather. Remember the E can sound E or it can sound A. So if you say weather, you are correct. If you say weather, you are correct. So that is the weather means bring. Remember nyem is give me, but weather is bring, you know. The next one we have here is ye. Ye is a regular white sound in English. Young, yam, you, you know, ye. That's the regular white sound in English. That's what ye produces. When you remove the e, that is what you have left. So the sound, the example word we have here is ya. Ya is it, he, she is a pronoun. We made a list of all the personal pronouns in Igbo. We have a video on it. You can go on the channel and scroll down. It's from last year. You would see it. Now, the last letter of the Igbo alphabet is Z. We don't have X if you observe. We don't have Q if you observe. And we don't have a standalone C. So, the last letter of the Igbo alphabet is the um, Z. And here we have zero. It's a regular Z sound in English, like zero, zinc, you know. Um, zebra is a regular Z, Z sound in English. That's the sound it makes. So here we have Zota. Zota. Zota is by. Zota. By. Zota. Ose. By. Pepe. Zota. Aqua. By. Egg. You know, that kind of a thing. So Zota is by. You say Zota and you put what you want the person to buy. You can say Zotaram. Zotaram is by for me. Or buy this for me. Then you mention the name of the thing. Zotaram Aqua. Buy clothes for me. Zotaram Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin for me. Or whatever it is um, you want the person to buy for you. Now we come to the last letter of the alphabet we are going to be touching for this class. Like we said, it's an extended class. And it's gone into 20, 32 minutes already. So we have she. She. The she sound is just similar to the sh sound in english as in the word she or sheep you know or shine you know the she the sh sound in english is exactly the sound of sh in um Igbo. ash you know you will, you will have ash so even here self it comes to play because the a in ash is the same a with the a in Igbo. so you have a she you see, ashi, like ash with e, but different tone. You know, ashi, ashi is lie, lie. When someone says something that's a lie, you say ashi, ashi, and you can even go further to say ashiocha. Ashiocha is white lie, but white lie in Igbo does not mean white lie in English. White lie in Igbo means very big lie, big big lie. That is what white lie means in Igbo. Ashiocha. So, um, this is the wrap-up of the class we've had so far. Now, before I wrap up the class, I will use this SH thing to mention something to us. The letters, the diphthongs are treated as one letter. As you have here, the capital letter is SH capitalized and the small letter is SH lower caps. But when they come in the front of a sentence... Like when they are starting a sentence and when, when they have to be in capital, maybe it's name of a person, place or thing. When they have to be in capital, only the first letter is in capital. The second one is in lower caps. So you don't have SH in capital because you, you are treating them as one letter. No, they are treated as one sound. They are treated as one letter. But the rules of um just um capitalizing the first letter of alphabet applies to this so that's how you write it and so so that when you see s and you see h and they are not maybe um um how will i put it don't now say okay this is s separate and this is h separate no no whenever s comes with h and there is nothing between it this is the letter so there can't be individual consonants coming together in that way like individual s and individual h like c and he coming together so he says c he no is she that it will make so wherever there is a diphthong and you see two 
um, of the letters that make up the diphthong come together in the way the diphthong appears, it is not individual letters of the alphabet. It is a diphthong in that case. But when it's not a diphthong, even if there are three consonants joining together at the same time, once none of them is a diphthong, you don't treat the three of them as a diphthong. You treat them as individual syllables until the last consonant that has a vowel in front of it, the consonant plus the vowel in front of it becomes a syllable. We may do syllabification of the Igbo alphabet later. Comment if you need that but i think this should probably cover it so thank you for staying with me on this lesson my name is Theo prince obviously and this is Igbo made easy just in case you forgot please subscribe subscribe and encourage what we are doing and share the video share the material like comment share the material with your friends and one tip i can leave you with in closing is learning language with a friend or a loved one or a partner makes the process all much so easier thank you for staying with me cordy